Introduction Every individual born in this world goes through a process of growth and development. A development process takes place naturally, taking into consideration. For a normal layman, it is just a growing up process of an individual, whereas for psychologists and theorists, it is a human development process. What is human development? Human development is not a new concept. We go through it every day of our lives without realizing. According to Atten Long, 1980, human development is the qualitative change in the growth of a human, which cannot be measured, but it is apparent when compared with the early stage. The term development here refers to certain changes that occur in human beings between conception and death. These changes remain for a reasonably long period of time. Human Development Let us look at an example of human development. For example, a mother taught the son to keep his toys neatly when he was a child. This habit of being neat remained with the son until he becomes a father himself, where he keeps all his things neatly. This example shows that habits learned from practice, experience and maturation, which are done continuously, will remain with an individual forever. Concept of Human Development To further understand the concept of human development, let's look at an example of an individual's qualitative changes. Click on the Play button to view the video clip. This example shows human development takes place since the beginning of a cell development, that is, when an embryo is formed, until the end of lifetime of an organism, that is, until the day the human dies. At each and every stage of a human life, development takes place in various aspects and has significant impact on the individual. Aspects of Human Development As we have looked at the definition of human development, now let's move on to explore the main aspects of human development. Human development can be divided into five main aspects. They are 1. Physical Development 2. Personal Development 3. Social Development 4. Cognitive Development 5. 
maturation. Click on each aspect for a detailed explanation. Physical development. Firstly, let's look at the aspect of physical development. Every individual goes through physical development process. Physical development is the physical changes that happen on an individual during the growth process. The physical change from a child to an adult is vast, where the features, strength, figure, weight, height, voice, ability to do something, and all other physical elements in a human body change during the growing process. Whereas, the changes after the individual reach adulthood are not so obvious unless the person is really old or falls sick. These changes are due to biological factors and also environment. Personal Development Personal development refers to the changes of behavior of an individual as he or she goes through certain experiences in life. Click on the play button to view the video clip. Gosh, I could not even wear this tie. something for the accident. What is it? Well, never use a handphone while driving. The example you have seen just now shows that Zul had learned that he should be more careful while driving. The cause of the accident made him realize his fault and taught him that he should follow the traffic road rules and regulations. This is what we refer to as personal development. Social development. Social development refers to the changes over time in the ways we relate to others as we socialize with them. Click on the play button to view the video clip. The example shows an individual learning to communicate with others when stimulated by the environment. The friendly and caring responses from the neighbor changed the little girl's behavior at once. Cognitive development. The next aspect of development is the cognitive development. This aspect of development refers to gradual and orderly changes by which mental processes become more complex and sophisticated. Click on the play button to view the video clip. The example shows us how the boy's cognitive levels had improved. When he was nine years old, he couldn't understand abstract concepts. At the age of 13, he is able to understand concrete and abstract concepts. Maturation the final development aspect is the maturation aspect. Maturation development is changes which are genetically programmed. These changes occur naturally over time. For example, at the age of one, a child will not be able to express itself when he or she is hungry or needs something. However, when the baby is two years old, 
he or she can express to the mother when he or she is hungry or doesn't like something. This is a development in the growing up process of a baby, where the baby learns how to talk and identify its needs. It shows the baby had gone through maturation through the learning process, which is influenced by the environment around it. Summary: In this topic, we have looked at the definition of human development process and various theories of human development. Human development is qualitative changes in an individual which cannot be measured but can be seen clearly through time cycle. Human development is divided into five phases: that is, physical development, personal development, social development, cognitive development, and maturation. Human development takes place since the beginning of cell development until the end of lifetime of an organism. Generally, all the theorists feel that changes that occur early in life are generally assumed to be the better, and to result in physical, personal, social, emotional, cognitive, language, thinking, spiritual, morale. That is more adaptive, more organized, more effective, and more complex.